Hello Gemini, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Today's video is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every single Gemini watching. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And let's just see what we get for you. So spirits, angels, guides. Oh, hang on one second. My Palo Santo one out. Bear with me. Gemini, all the information that you want to know about the decks that I use, my book, my website, all of that will be in the description box below this video. All right, there we go. A little. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we get for you. Let's look at what's going on in your connection first. So this reading will be best um, for those that are already in some sort of a connection. You know, have you have someone in mind at least. For Gemini spirit, what can you tell me about Gemini for love? One. Okay, we got moving forward, movement, ending, cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. A Gemini, this could be you or your person. Oh, this connection. For Gemini. Child. So child in this deck is about new, new beginnings, young energy. Um, so moving forward and child makes sense to me because clearly there's a new beginning on the horizon here. Ow. <laughs> I got my vaccine yesterday and my left arm is very sore. So if you hear me like <laughs> grunt in the background, just ignore me. Okay, for Gemini. Tell me more about this connection. I'm gonna be using a lot of Oracle cards today, along with the tarot, just so you know. Community number seven. And at the bottom of the deck, happy family number four. Interesting, I feel like there, whatever is happening, there's a group of people involved, possibly a family, um friends helping someone move forward move okay i just heard like actually helping someone move someone's actually making a move like an actual like moving somewhere this could be moving uh into like a new state or city or a new home Others, I feel like this is friends, family, helping someone make a certain decision or end a cycle. Tell me more for Gemini. Let's see what we got here. Tell me about this connection. There could actually be a child involved. It does not have to be though, because like I said, that card is more about beginnings something new, young, early, you know? Wow, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely some sort of change is happening in this connection. Now this could be both of your energies here. Six of Pentacles, reverse, you or them here. So we'll see. There's definitely a shift happening. Uh, divine timing, we keep getting this message for Geminis. I know you're sick of hearing it. But this is what I'm getting, you know, I'm using different decks for a reason so that I'm sure that this is the message and it keeps popping up. So that is the message, Gemini. Um, there's definitely some sort of movement forward and I think it's helping out with whatever imbalance there exists right now in this connection. Judgment reverse. I can't stop looking at this card. Why is judgment reverse? Tell me more about this judgment reverse. Hmm. 
Why is Judgment Reverse? Judgment Reverse for me, um, as a reader specifically, it's almost like someone has made a bad judgment call or has not had certain clarity or awakening about the past. So um, there's a delay in moving into a new cycle because after judgment comes the world. So I feel like when judgment is reversed, there's something here. Yep. There's definitely a delay, eight of wands reverse. Something is not really moving. And maybe that's why the wheel of fortune is here to help this move along. This could be a family situation. This could be due to finances, some sort of um, lack of security, stability. Something here is not doing so well. Um, but I feel like someone's working on it. Eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. So someone is actively working on whatever is not progressing. Tell me about the wheel. Spirit wise, the wheel of fortune here. For Gemini. Yeah, justice, exactly. And Gemini, you had a, um, a reading recently. I think it was a bonus reading or something like that. I'll have the playlist for Gemini linked up in the cards or in pinned in the comments so that you guys can see this reading. The word justice is in the title because this justice card, it's almost like things are going to be fair, balanced, made right with this wheel. And then bottom of the deck, I have the lovers. So there you are, Gemini. Uh, this could be in regards to a partnership, a union here. There will be a rebalancing a, a, a just as happens or appears because there's something that's not quite right. That's why justice is here. So let's see, let me move this down so that we can look at both of you separately. We'll start with you, Gemini. On, I'll have uh, Gemini on one side and then your person on the other. But uh, you can flip the energies if they resonate more. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me about Gemini. Gemini's energies in this connection. Tell me more about Gemini. What do we need to know about Gemini? Gazelle. Okay, so the gazelle is very hyper aware, vulnerable, worried, watchful. I feel like you're not really sure of something, Gemini. Almost like you are looking out around you um, for whatever is coming, like you're expecting something is kind of what I'm seeing here. I feel like you're aware of something, like maybe like it's, I, I just heard like you could smell it. <laughs> So it's almost like the, there's something in the air or something like that. Like, you know, something's up. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. For their energies. This time. The person that Gemini is dealing with. The shark. Yeah. So the shark is about kind of like the elephant in the room. Something that you can't ignore. There's tension because something needs to be addressed. I feel like this person knows they have to do something here. Um, they know that they have to uh, perhaps take some sort of action towards you or regarding a situation. We'll see. I'm going to use um, different uh, decks for you, but let me um, get a couple more Oracle cards here. Tell me more about Gemini. more about Gemini. What do we need to know about Gemini? Cold shoulder, silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. So you could be feeling shut out right now or like you haven't heard from this person. Tell me about Gemini's person. Okay, we have unhealthy attachment, ba uh, bonds, toxicity, codependency, Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. So your person could be dealing with a toxic environment or toxic situation. Tell 
tell me more. So, can you give me some more insight for Gemini? More insight for Gemini. There's a distance between you. Walking away, 27. You could be the one moving forward. Or perhaps you, when you think about this person, you think about them walking away from an unhealthy attachment. Maybe this is what you're hoping for. Tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Oh my God, I just like flew out. Angel of balance. Yeah, this is kind of like that justice card. I feel like this person wants to fix things, bring things back into balance. They know they have to do something. I have goddess of the moon at the bottom of the deck. So it's like maybe their intuition is speaking to them. I'm going to get one more for your person with my secret moon oracle deck here. Can I get some insight into Gemini's person? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? Thinking or feeling when it comes to Gemini spirit. You're always on my mind. Yeah, I feel like there's something about you or about this connection. It's like they can't ignore it. And that's why the shark is here, the shark energy. They know they have to address something here. They know they have to balance something out in their life. Can I get one more? I desire you. This is about you. Yes. They want something to, to something to do with you. Um so this could be like they want a connection with you or they want to fix something in regards like like you come up in that scenario in some way. Okay, let's jump into the tarot here. I'm going to use this deck for you. If I could pick it up. Spirit, tell me more for Gemini. Gemini need to know what is going on with Gemini spirit tell me about Gemini really Henry can you do that somewhere else hey, Gemini oh we got the nine of wands can you tell me about Gemini spirit, Gemini's energies when it comes to this person, this connection? Three of Cups, there's that community card. This could also be about um, coming together, reuniting. But for a lot of you, I feel like there's a third person here or a situation with like a group of people. Page of Wands, Reverse, and then we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like... A lot of you Geminis are walking away from something, someone. That I feel is definitely happening here. And I f almost feel like you haven't given up on something with the Nine of Wands here. You haven't given up on an idea, on a person, on something happening. But with the Page of Wands reverse, I feel like there's no movement, no communication, no actual action being taken here. Tell me about this Page of Wands reverse. What's this about? Yeah, this is about, again, another card, Six of, of Pentacles, about balance. We have the Six of Pentacles reverse here, and it's coming up upright in your um, side. So it's almost like this rebalancing, this making things right, giving and receiving an equal measure, it hasn't happened. That's why Justice and the Wheel are here, because there's like a cog in the wheel here. Something that is in moving forward for whatever reason. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is kind of all about... I feel like this is what you want, Gemini. You want a happy ending here. And notice how up at the top, it's almost like a continuation of like a scene here. Like they're related somehow. 
But with the Page of Wands reverse, it hasn't happened. And there's the Eight of Wands, again, upright on your side, reverse here. So I feel like there's something that hasn't, you know, it's like this is your desire, but it's not actually happening right now. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What's going on here with the Three of Cups? The world, yeah, this is about, I feel, a new cycle. These two cards are very similar. The community card with the child and the, and the moving forward, this energy is very similar to this energy here. A new cycle, ending a cycle, starting something new. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. It could be a reunion, wanting to reunite, wanting to have a new beginning, a, a second chance here. And then the Wheel of Fortune reverse, yes. But it's not happening. And then there's a lovers at the bottom of the deck. This is about a partnership. It feels like it's not the right time or something to do with timing. And that's why your um, this message of divine timing keeps popping up here for you, Gemini. Because I feel like that's, it's been difficult. It's been a long road, Nine of Wands. You know, you've held on for a, a long time here, I feel. Despite the fact that something hasn't officially taken off. Can I get some information, please, about this Nine of Wands? Tell me about this Nine of Wands. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel like you've been kind of alone for a while, have been thinking on this for a while, and... I don't know it's it's almost like you could even be thinking of a person who has Virgo in their chart um, but I feel like this has been you almost like a recluse on your own not really with anybody and it's been a long time that you've been kind of holding on to an idea not giving up even though it's been difficult that kind of energy so let's look at your person I'm gonna use a different deck for them what deck do I want to use Let's use the vice versa. Um, <laughs> I feel like I don't know where to put. Spirit, tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with. What do I need to know about this person? need to know about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Now, Gemini, you could flip these energies if they resonate more, but for the sake of this reading, this is your person for me. Four of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Interesting. Oops, hold on. Well then. Oh, there you are again at the top of the deck. Tell me more about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Is that the wheel again? Yes. The wheel of fortune again, upright on your person's side. So what this is telling me is this wheel is turning um, and I feel like it's on your person's side here. Like they're the ones making this wheel turn. I have the temperance card at the top of the deck here, Sagittarius energy. Um, they had the angel of balance, so that makes sense because that's literally the same card. Bottom of the deck, we have the ace of swords. So they could even be reaching out to communicate here. Maybe there's some sort of clarity that moves things forward or a conversation that moves things forward here. Now with the four of pentacles, reverse, I'm thinking of someone letting go of something. Let's see. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse. There's the Four of Pentacles reverse, because you know, they have this unhealthy attachment. High Priestess, okay. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse. Four of Cups reverse. So they, they're having a change of heart or changing their mind about something. 
Yep, three of wands. So interesting. I feel like their intuition, they're probably listening to their intuition right now. Their intuition is guiding them um, to think about a situation differently. I think they're waiting for the right time to maybe open up here. Uh, the right time to not hold back any longer with the Four of Pentacles reverse. Whatever this is, I feel like it has to do about like something they haven't discussed with you or something that their intuition is telling them about. And I feel like you're kind of mirroring each other because you have the Hermit, they have the High Priestess, very similar energy, quiet energy, you know. There's not a lot of communication there with either of those. And then with the Seven of Cups reverse, this is about making a decision. Um, so I want to see what that's about. What's the Seven of Cups reverse about? Ah, I can't pick this up. Move this out here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get it together, guys. Give me just one second. I'm just trying to move things along so that I can actually see what's going on here. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse for this person why is the seven of cups reverse please four of wands reverse okay why is the seven of cups king of cups reverse ah so something hasn't been working out uh it could be in the home it could be there there's just a yeah lack of stability and then the five of pentacles so something hasn't been working out for your person. They've been struggling here. Probably they're struggling emotionally or financially. Um, there's there's something missing in their life. They're out in the cold. Um, and look how this person looks, especially in this deck. They're, they're not doing well. And then I have the King of Cups reversed. So emotionally, I feel this is a struggle. Uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Um, four of Wands reverse, this kind of makes sense. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles reverse, Four of Wands reverse, could be a situation within a family, you know, where things are not, they're not really um, stable, balanced. There's no harmony, peace in the home when the Four of Wands is reversed. So let's look at this Wheel of Fortune, because I feel like this is also very important here. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune spirit. What is this about? I feel like your person, um, even, every time I see this card, I think of the magician. Because the person in this card, this is the magician. Um, so, but for some reason it's here with the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know, it's kind of odd because it's not like that in the back of this card, but whatever. So I feel like this is your person taking charge, making something work, uh, making their own luck. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's this related to? The Nine of Wands. Okay, so you have the Nine of Wands as well. What is this Wheel of Fortune related to? Six of Swords reverse. A return. After a long time, after holding on for a long time or dealing with a difficult situation knight of pentacles reverse so it's going to take work oh okay yep what's at the top is that the justice card reverse so i feel that someone is um wanting to make some sort of move here with the six of swords reverse and the knight of pentacles reverse grab hold of an opportunity uh make something happen but I feel like the, they need the wheel to do this because there's some sort of uh, obstacle here. And it could be in the form of a, an attachment of some sort, uh, addictions, um, toxicity, difficulty in a home, a family. We got death reverse, yep, Scorpio energy. So there's delays in uh, the ending of something. Yep, and the world reverse. So that's what's happening. 
bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords so i feel like this is someone that yeah and the hangman so i feel like this is someone who because of the situation they're in gemini they're seeing something very differently their intuition is almost like nudging them you have to address this you have to do something about this um you need to make a huge change in your life because otherwise nothing is going to change for you and this is related to you i feel in some way although not directly i have to say that i don't think this person needs to end something with you is kind of what i'm trying to get at there's something else that they need to cut cut off and almost like in a cold way because this is holding them back and they're tired like i feel like they're exhausted look at this person this hasn't been easy whatever situation this is has been yeah look at this i just picked up ace of cups reverse heartbreaking emotionally exhausting for this person five of cups there's regrets over the past difficulties mistakes were made and I feel like this person now feels stuck. Um, and they're they're wanting to address that. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from Geminis. Um, you guys are always so much fun in the comments. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading and want to see more from me. Don't forget to check out the description box for uh, links to my website, my book, my shop, all of that fun stuff. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.